It's great. I mean, support? Oh, support wise, this is a 10 out of 10. Today, we are filming a huge Gymshark haul. I pretty much wiped out the store. I wanted to get accurate representation of Gymshark, so I got shorts, I got tees, I got bras, I got everything. So we're gonna see if Gymshark is really that girl workout gear. of a Nike girl myself. I really love Nike's shirts, their leggings, shoes. I wear between either Nike or Adidas. Under Armour is good too. So I'm gonna see what Gymshark is. Like what's the hype? Like is it good? Is it not? Like we, we finna see, we finna see. This is the Razorback sports bra and these are the GS joggers what the, the joggers look like. This sports bra took a lot of effort to get on because I didn't want to take the little side straps off. I'm like, oh no, I could just put it on. And no, you definitely have to take the side straps off. I have to have help. I want to say this sports bra is giving so much support. They're not moving. My boobs, they don't move. It don't move. My hair. It don't move, it don't move my hair. This is so compressed. I actually like this. Now granted, I'm a 32 triple D. So this is a 32 D double D. It is a little tight. So I think that I would actually just size up for to a 34 double D, which is my sister size. Cause 32 is fit, but right here, this little bland thing, you can adjust it. So I think that the, the 34 will fit better, even though I would have to make the adjustments here. The 32 this is the loosest setting and it's not going to adjust anymore. The pants are comfortable. The only thing I don't like is that this isn't a true black. This is kind of more of a, I feel like a washed black per se. I don't feel like this is a true black. A little on the fence, but they're comfortable. So I think what I'm going to do, I want to keep these pants, but I want to exchange them for a different color. Just because I feel like since this isn't black already, after a few washes, it's going to be off black. And I'd rather this be that black grayish color. If you, if you know what I mean, like that. I don't know what the color's called, but it's got black and gray and white mixed in. I like that color, off black. Let's, let's, let's call that off black. So I like off black better than traditional black because I feel like they're different shades of black. On camera, this might look like the same shade, but in real life, this is a, like this looks like this has been washed. That's the kind of black it's giving. Like it's giving, it's been washed and here's your, wash black. All right, so these are the Adapt leggings. This is the color I was talking about. Had the joggers been this color, like this gray, black-ish, that would be okay. And then the bra I have on is a rest day bra. I like the bra, honestly. No complaints, zero complaints. I like to wear rest day bras, but I like bralettes. And sometimes the bralettes don't give enough support. This one does, like this one gives support, but it's not constricting like a regular sports bra. I could be in this all day, no problem. I can travel in it. This is a medium. I wonder how a large would fit. The medium is fine. I think the straps could be a little bit longer. This is what the back looks like. So I really love how the back is exposed and open. So maybe that's why the straps aren't long. So you're able to do that. And this is how the, the pants look. The pants, I'm gonna give these pants a seven out of 10. And the only reason, don't, don't come hate me in the comments, the only reason why I'm giving this a 7 out of 10 is that these would be great if I lived up north. I'm a dirty south girl all day. It doesn't get that cold for where I would need something this thick. And the gym's not cold. Actually, my gym, sometimes I don't even be having the AC on, so this would be a no-go. But if you lived up north, these would be great for working out outside or like that transition. I do like the way they look on me. I like the way they feel. Full disclosure, I worked at Nike from 2013 to 2015. So I think I started working for the Nike company 2011, maybe 2010. I was in 10th grade when I started working for them and I started at Converse and I switched over to Nike. So I know a lot about gym clothes, the technology, the material behind it. So then when I see other brands come out with 
athletic wear. I'm super critical because I know all the technology isn't Nike. And I know that we're in a different age where we're not going to those brands to wear stuff, but you see why the athletes are wearing Nike. Like football, they're Nike or Adidas jerseys. Basketball, any major sport, they're rocking either Nike or Adidas, somewhere of that caliber because of the technology behind it. That dry fit, that dry fit, I'm sorry, there's nothing like it. So these leggings are great. I just feel that I would get super Super hot in them because I'm already hot in them now. They look great. They, they look great. Like I said, don't get me wrong. It's just that I think that there is a difference between being an athlete and working out in the gym. If all you're doing is gym workouts and workouts at home, then yes, you can get away with certain brands or especially like cheaper brands like Amazon. But if you're doing high performance training, and if you're an athlete, you're gonna want something a little bit that's gonna give you more. Shoot me down in the comments. But I say what I said. It's me looking like a pumpkin. So this is the rest day sweatshirt. I'm gonna rate this a solid six out of 10. I love the cuffs. I love the collar. I don't like the material inside it's if you can see that a little bit it's not warm and cozy like the cuffs it's kind of scratchy i don't know what material this is i'll probably like look it up like when i look at the thing but i like how it looks which is really sad because i love the croppers i love this part how it brings you in and makes you look snatched i love it but i'm not feeling the inside like it's not comfortable so six out of ten but looks wise looks wise is a 10 out of 10. all right so i see what gymshark does gymshark is gonna make you look good now how you feel is a completely different story but they gonna make you look good okay so this is the adapt shirt that goes with these pants this is definitely winter ensemble i do like how the way this shirt feels i don't think i like the fit of it i don't know like the shirt wants to clinch on me but then it's loose back here so i feel like it's supposed to be loose <laughs> like even if i was like extremely skinny i think it would still clench on your body hmm i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten because i do love how it feels i just don't like the fit the more i'm wearing these leggings the more i like them but i did notice that they kind of roll over a bit so like if you were to you know actually do lifting like this it would fold down so i don't like that i don't have those issues with my nike leggings and i probably just got too much back here so this whole set, I guess, the top and the bottom together, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. If you live up north, I think it's actually a 10 out of 10 if you live up north. Outside of the, the little rollback. But other than that, I can't hate. I, I can't hate. And I feel like I'm one of those persons that not necessarily if something's bad, I'll really harp on that. But I've been told that I can be harsh. But I can't hate on this. I, from what I've been trying on, I really can't hate on Gymshark. Now do I think it's overpriced? All right, these are the Peppa Red Loose Gym Shorts. I love the spandex aspect. I, I love a good running short, number one, point blank period. I love good running short. This might make it look like I have a little fupa when I don't. I do like how it's loose here, but obviously the people who mainly wear gym shorts don't have as a big enough butt. And I know what people will be saying like, oh, maybe you need to go up a size. My waist is so small that if I get this in a large, it's gonna be too big. There's no jawstrings in it, so it would literally be too big because it fits perfectly on my waist. I really love these shorts. I just don't don't like how um, it's kind of already riding up and I'm not doing anything. But they're so comfortable. They're so comfortable. I need someone to make gym clothes for the thick girls. Don't know who needs to do it, but I need someone to make gym clothes for the thick girls. Cause this, I need baby fat apple bottom to come out. Because even though there's Ivy Park. It's still made by Adidas, so it's not fully catering to the big girls. They're size inclusive, but they're not catering to waist to hip ratio. Not that part. Like, I truly did not believe these things would fit on my body, but they did. I love the color. Honestly, truly love the color. That's the only reason why I got them. These are the Adapt Seamless Leggings. Okay, so that makes sense why they were like so small. You might not be able to find these online. I'm gonna see if I can link them because these were like on sale, but I really like the color because orange is our brand color for our training company. 
feed the plan. But um, I like these. I actually think, I already said that I was gonna keep these off rip because I just love the color. These are comfortable. I don't know if I would work out in them per se because I've noticed that with the Gymshark legging, at least the ones that I've been trying on so far, they roll down. But as loungewear, I like. You see, I'm still wearing this bra because the more and more I'm wearing it, the more and more it's fitting better. And I will say that I've noticed that about Gymshark. The more you wear Gymshark, the more it becomes more comfortable. I don't want to say is that the clothes, you can tell that no one's tried them on. And so they're kind of from their original manufacturing boom. I don't think you can buy Gymshark clothes in stores. Not sure. Editor Chell's here. So I looked it up. There is a flagship store in London. Apparently it's huge. They have things to do like classes and they have a larger selection of their items. In the US, you can go to Champs or Hibbit Herbert, however you pronounce that, and they have a select few merchandise. But those are the only two things I found online. I am still wearing my lounge bra. It is so comfortable. I need to get one in multiple colors because it's just fantastic. But back to the video. The more I'm wearing it, the more it feels comfortable. Like before I was saying that this bra needed to be longer. Now that I'm wearing it for four or five outfit changes now, it's actually really comfortable. This is a Gymshark crop tee. So what I've noticed about the t-shirts is if you want them to look loose, size up because this is a medium i wear a medium on the model it looked like this was loose but you can obviously tell that this is not loose whatsoever this is tight on me i don't want to say it's no it's tight on me because it's kind of tight on my arms with gymshark shirts because this is my second shirt i tried on the sweatshirt size up so if you want like that baggy loose i'm about to get it in in the gym you need to size up because if you buy your regular size with gymshark their t-shirts that is it's not going to look oversized on you even though on the model it looks oversized and that is on me i should have looked at the model more carefully to see that she was itty bitty tiny and she's not like me but outside of that taking that out i feel like if the shirt is loose and if the description says that this is a loose tee it should fit loose like it should already be like if I order a medium it should fit like a large I think that how the shirts look they should be they should be made oversized I felt like I couldn't do a true Gymshark haul without getting at least one Whitney product. So this is from her new line. I'm not really big on Whitney. I just know her from some other YouTubers. Like I know she's really big and her Gymshark collections always sell out. I know I need to set my game up so I can get some clout. I can be a Gymshark girl. I can create a line because why Whitney's line is the best stuff that I've tried on so far like this feels like gym clothes I love the bra the bra is super comfortable I didn't even think that I would like the bra and I really try not to buy white sports bras like that but I mean come on it is just it feels like I'm not wearing anything it doesn't have the best support but it's comfortable and the leggings are comfortable too the pockets are cute the pockets fits my whole hand so my phone could fit in here I didn't think that I would like the Whitney's line so much I mean I actually might keep these these pants I'm not sure because they're still doing the same thing where they roll over and there's no elastic or there's no strings and I think that's what Gymshark is missing is is the strings here because what I do with my Nike pants they have strings so I tie the string I tie it really tight and it, it doesn't fall down because this doesn't have any strings I think this is why I'm getting that fall down and that's not to say that you'll get the fall down for the girls who's watching this my waist just comes in so it's kind of hard for me with certain pants Especially gym pants. I did not think that I would like this as much as I do. Like I, I honestly, this bra beats the lounge bra to a certain extent. But her stuff is good. I mean, honestly, with Gymshark, I might just have to shop her things. Like I'm not finished with my try on haul, but from what I've tried on up until this point, the best thing has been the Whitney collab. The colors are pastels. I personally don't think these colors look the best on dark skin. I think it makes make us look a little wash dark skin brown skin pops with color i feel like when we feel like when black people wear pastels even when we wear pastels they're still bright pastels these are muted pastels like this is a muted mint like, i'm not mad at it you see how this is a teal or like i have some other gymshark haul i bought bright colors in gymshark 
but Whitney's I saw that hers was a little cooler. That's I guess that's a good word for it, cooler colors. Yeah, I like the fit. The more I'm wearing the pants, the more they're just rolling down standing. So I don't know. My butt looks good and then I'll definitely keep them. But the bra, I am 90% sure I'm gonna keep the bra. Just because between this one and that lounge bra, super comfortable. And I hate sports bras. I think that was why I was so critical on the Savage X because I feel like a sports bra, if it's not gonna be comfortable, it better be supportive. And if it's not supportive nor comfortable, it's trash. Why'd you make me pay for this? Because I already don't like wearing bras. So it needs to be comfortable. I mean, we're in 2023. We can make some comfortable bras for the girls. These are the Gymshark lift shorts. Oh, this is some cap. They got these little scrunchies on the side, I guess, to make it tighter. Why you don't got those on the inside? That concept on the side, they can put in the front because as soon as I tried these on, they rolled over. These are comfortable. I would give these a solid seven out of 10. They're comfortable, they're cute. They're a little tight on my thigh. And when I did read this stuff, they only go so big on the thighs. Like you can tell, I believe that Gymshark is a UK brand. I'm gonna have to look more into that, but I'm pretty sure it's a UK brand. And you can tell because UKs, they're not as big right here as Americans, because obviously the food that we eat. And I noticed that when they were like, your thigh, your thigh ratio, it was all the same for all the sizes. But the back looks like, they're cute. I mean, I like the color, but the more I'm wearing them, the more I don't like them. So I'm gonna keep it at a seven. I'm not gonna downgrade them. But as hard as the Whitney one was comparing, if I wanted to keep it up, these are easily going back. These are easily going back. Back, back, back. Honestly, if they weren't tight on my thighs, I would keep them because I like workout shorts and I don't think these would ride up. No, they're not gonna ride up. Maybe that's what this is for, to prevent them from that work riding up. If my legs were smaller, yes, but alas, that is not the case. My legs are how they are, and that's how these are. Here's another shirt that I got. I thought that this was the same shade of pink, and alas, it's not. Now, this shirt's a medium, made in Bangladesh. Interesting. Oh, I do like this shot, though. This cute, this cute. This is the first shirt that's oversized in... I hate it. I don't want to say hate. Hate is a strong word, but I strongly dislike this shirt. I don't know. I feel like I look like a little pet mob. Peppa Pig. Dora the Explorer. Let me get my book bag on. Maybe this shirt will look better with some different pants because maybe the, the pink on pink is giving full blown. The shirt is comfortable. I wish this was kind of like, this is the baggy, this is the oversize that I was I was talking about. So I feel like with gym shirt shirt, if you want to buy the shirts, I think you should get two sizes, regular size and one size up. So you can see if I want this oversized or not. This is a shirt that I would size down because I don't like the way it looks oversized. Maybe the way it's cropped and it's got this awkward high low type thing. I don't know, I don't like it. It's comfortable, but it's a no for me dog. Uh, it's a no for me dog. I don't think it was really. I guess I'm a rated a four. Like, it's just, it's a no. It's, it's a no. You know, I might, I might turn into a Gymshark fan. I might turn into a Gymshark fan. These pants are so comfortable for them to be short. Oh my gosh. These things, nine out of 10, nine out of 10. You know they can't get a 10 because they don't have a jawstring. Super comfortable. The bra's comfortable too. All my stuff is jiggling in here. So as far as support, no. Like the bra, the bra gives light support. And I think this is a light support sports bra. This is the seamless 2.0 sports bra. But I do think this is light support. If anything, it's medium and medium would be pushing it if you're a big chested girl this is definitely 100 percent light support so if you are okay with light support cool i'm always someone with sports bras i need more support because if i'm running i don't need the moving and this is moving off rip and i'm just doing a light job i don't like the sports bra as far as me me working out but light impact sure i got the shirt that goes with the pants four out of ten four out of ten off rip and i'm gonna tell you why these seams don't matter up to the hands. See where my hand is? See how this seam is going this way? But see how this seam is going like that? It ain't matching. So then it makes it kind of uncomfortable. Oh, never mind. I was a dum dum and had it on the wrong way. Okay, I take that back. I take back my four. I will give the top a six because I still don't like it. All right, I'm a hater. It's a seven. 
it was a seven. After I finally got it to how it needs to be, it's a seven, it's a seven. The whole set, I'm gonna give the whole set an 8.5. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 because I feel like that's an average. The pants is definitely a nine. The top is a 7.5 and the bra is a 7.5. So that's why I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it between an eight and 8.5 for the whole thing. Again, this is something up north or if you live somewhere where it gets cold, Cold. This is actually a perfect gym outfit for your cold. I feel like it's it's good for your cold outside coming in and you still want to feel a little bit warm, but you know that you're gonna be working out and you're gonna get hot, but you know when you leave, you're gonna be cold again. If that makes sense. Like, I feel like it made sense in my head, but saying it out loud, it might have made sense. Drop in the comment if you understood what I was talking about. Other than that, I definitely like the pants. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep the pants because I don't have any long workout pants that stop above my knee. I have some that stop right on my knee I have some that stop here but I don't have any that stops right above the knee and I can just put my knee sleeve on and be cool and these are actually really comfortable and I've been wearing it for a good little bit now so so far I'm a fan of Gymshark so if you're looking for some gym clothes I don't believe that Gymshark is the cheapest when I'm looking at the prices but if you want something that you don't have to leave your house and it'll ship to you I, I would I would do Gymshark these are not Gymshark pants, these are my pants. I didn't buy any bottoms that matches this top for some odd reason. I don't know what was going on. because I'm, I'm even looking down to see if I have anything that would match with this, I don't. This is a mid top. This top is fire. There's so many times where I want a fitted top, especially when I'm trying to like showcase certain things, but I don't want my, my nipples to show, but I don't want to wear a bra. This top? I like this top. This top feels like the Whitney bra, but in a top version. And then you've got, I don't know what to call this, scrunch. Yeah, let's call it scrunch right here to kind of like redefine your waist I like this and then if you you know make it high waist it's a really redefining moment this top is comfortable 10 out of 10 this is a top I don't know if I would work out in this top but wearing something like this sweatpants and this top running errand oh my gosh I'm not gonna lie I might see what other colors they have in this top and I might either exchange it or keep this color because I think I think this color looks good on me but this top is so comfortable I mean even right here and I feel like tops that are shaped like this is kind of uncomfortable here I mean granted it's a little tight here so that can maybe bother someone but if you're wearing jeans if you're already wearing something that's restrictive you're not gonna notice it too much I like it this top is super comfortable this top was a win full Full, full disclosure, I'm not wearing a bra because I felt like this top was tight enough that I didn't need one. And I actually was right because this top is giving more support than the light purple sports bra. I love how this looks. I actually really do enjoy the top. The pants, I don't know. These, this five, six inch, the seams, it just, it just, it's too tight. It's too tight. I don't know what to say, it's too tight. But the overall look is cute, but I think the, the functionality of it, I don't feel comfortable working out in this. This feels like, if you've ever ordered workout clothes from Amazon, and I feel like Amazon stuff is a little bit restrictive, that's what this feels like. Like I said, it's so pretty. I feel like it looks great on me but I don't feel great in it and if you know when you try on clothes if you don't feel good in it you're just not gonna wear it this is something that I wouldn't wear this is something that I would take a picture in and never work out in it never wear it but a picture so this just on comfortability is I want to say a 3 out of 10 overall uh, the 3 out of 10 overall looks I feel like this is one of the pieces that looks the best on me from the color how it's designed the back of the shirt I think the back of the pants this part right here I kind of like how it makes you would make you look a little bit more defined but I just feel like a cucumber in this like I feel so restricted if I was to get a size large in this set I think I might like it better I would be worried that it might be a little bit too big but because my arms are a little on the thicker side and my legs are on the thicker side and how this just sucks up everything this is a set that's okay with going to a large and this is the adapt camo seamless so this is the seamless shirt these are the seamless shorts i guess that seamless material really sucks you in but i tried some of the other gymshark seamless and it wasn't as tight as this two-piece set is so this is one that i would resize up i'm not gonna resize up to try to get it because like i said granted i like how it looks but i also feel hot in it 
in my gym, I would be sweating, dying. When I work out at home, I work out outside, sweating, dying. This is again another piece that if you live up north, I think it's great. So honestly, at this point, Gymshark really does cater to people who live in colder climates because this isn't thick. And this is why I always go back to Nike being my day one because Nike's technology, they have a lot of all weather gear. They have stuff dry fit for cool, dry fit for warm. This is only for if it's if it's cold out. Like I'm sorry, and I love and don't be like, oh, well, you know, you're wearing the long sleeve, so long sleeves. No, I have plenty of Nike long sleeves that I can wear during the regular regular season in Florida. So don't get me with that. Oh, because it's long sleeve. Because sometimes people like wearing long sleeve. Just because it's long sleeve doesn't mean it needs to be a thick long sleeve. And that's what this is. This is my fifth sports bra that I've tried on from Gymshark. This is medium support. This either might be medium or high support. Gymshark's got the best sports bras. I'm here to say it. Gymshark has the best sports bras. I wanted to make sure I tried on a wide range of sports bras from their most secure to their least secure. I guess their heavy support, light support, lounge. This one I think is medium to high. It's great. I mean, support? Oh, support wise, this is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 support wise. I would wear this piece more than that two piece set. I will say that, like that long sleeve. No, the sports bra with the leggings makes me want to keep the pants. I'm not because I still can't get over this, this thigh ratio thing, but this sports bra is bomb. And usually sometimes with medium or high support, you end up having like a little like back fat, like kind of comes up some. It is a little bit, but not to the point where it's uncomfortable or I'm gonna oh and honestly that's because it wasn't on all the way now that's completely gone I didn't made this first bra an 11 no gym shirt when we're coming to sports bras no this is a game changer right here right here gym shark these sports bras are better than Victoria's Secrets better than Savage X better than Adidas I hate Adidas sports bras I like Nike sports bras I'm not gonna lie I really do like Nike sports bras but these are these are a close second these are a second these actually these sports bras might tie with Nike. Their lounge ones are, are way better. 100% way better. Like the lounge bras, these are the best lounge bras I've ever tried on. And I mean, these are going, I'm even going so far to say these are better than bra bralettes. And I, I love, I love, love bralettes. These sports bras, game changer. Game changer. I don't know what else to say. Like this, this bra, I actually, I might keep this one as well because I like comfortability. I like comfortability. I like support. And this is giving me both. This is the training set. I love the material. I don't like the fit. This is for the little girls. This is for a small boutique. As you can see, the sports bra, we spilling. We spilling in this sports bra. Okay, it's giving A to C cup, possibly D. No doubles going, even C. C actually might be pushing it because if you're a certain C, this might be a little too much for you. This might be a little too much, but A to B for the, the small girls, yes. The pants, I feel like they're a bit short here. I mean, they're not riding. It's not showing cheeks. No matter what I do, it doesn't show my butt. No matter what I do. Are they short? Yes. Are they riding up? You betcha. But my butt was still covered. And I feel like that's hard to do. I don't know if this is something that I would keep just because of how short it is. But these are these are good training shorts. These, these are good training shorts. The bra, no. The bra is 100%. Not it. I would rank this together a 7. The bra, I feel like I can't accurately rate because it's just too much spellish for me so I couldn't, I can't really do anything. I do love the back. I will say, let me take a time to showcase the back of the bra. I do like all the strappy straps, but it's just not for me. The pants, I'm gonna give the pants an eight. I'm gonna give them an eight, I'm gonna give them an eight. These are the GS high-waisted leggings. They're not all that high-waisted on me, and I think it's because my butt's too big because I feel my butt being constricted on these leggings because I think that like my butt's here and it's giving this weird indentation that I don't like. Let's see if I can... No, it's still giving, I don't know if you can, but it's giving like this weird additional fat, I guess. Like this part's high and then this part's down, but this is my butt, this is my booty. I can't do nothing about that. This is not made for me. I think this is the cutest looking one like color wise. I feel like it's really pretty. I feel like it complements my skin. I love the sports bra. 100% love this sports bra. And this is the GS sports bra as well. Both of this is in a size medium. Everything's in a medium. I don't like the pants. 
I don't think they're flattering on me per se. They don't feel flattering on me. I just like the color. My shape kind of makes almost anything look good. Not to my own horn, but the bra, the bra is comfortable. Is the bra giving support? Medium, eh, ish. Now I will say, as much as I don't like the way these pants fit on me, these are the first pants that aren't, well they are a little bit, but they aren't fully rolling down. I think if I was smaller, or I guess if I was to get these in a bigger size, they would fit better. I think these are something that I can size up with. See, Gymshark is one of those brands where you might have to order two pieces because I hate, I'm sorry, I'm someone who doesn't like to order something and then it not fit and I have to exchange it and wait for it to come back. I'd rather order two sizes and then return the one that doesn't fit. I feel like that just makes it faster for both parties involved and when you're not sure. So I think that the pants, if you are someone who has a small waist, big booty, or even if you're someone who has big thighs and a butt and you're in between sizes or you're not sure i think i i would order both sizes my only concern is with the large it might be too big on the waist but the way that it's clenching I don't think that would be the problem, but I bought stuff in a large where it's clenched and it was still too big on the waist. So that's why sometimes it's difficult for me. But if you're someone who has a traditional hourglass shape or if you're a pair, because pairs are small here and they go big and they still have a small waist. If you're any of the two, I suggest ordering your size and then the size up to make sure that it's going to fit you how you want it to fit you. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Leave a like, leave a comment, which one was your favorite? But this is the last piece of this extensive haul that I've done. This is another minimal sports bra. I got it because it matched the pants. These are the best pants. These are the GS. These are the GS Power original leggings. These feel very similar to the Whitney leggings. So I actually think I like these leggings better than the Whitney ones. They've got a scrunch. Because I have such a butt. I couldn't feel the scrunch anymore. I think that's why the other high-waisted ones didn't fit because a lot of time, a lot of gym clothes now these days, 21st century, they make the bottom with ruching and scrunches and all that stuff for the people who don't have a badonka donk. It can show that they do have one in their pants, but for the girls who do have one, not need it. Or some, some girls still like it. I'm hit or miss. I really don't care because my butt's already big. I feel like it doesn't make or break me. But these leggings, I actually do like. I don't feel like these roll like the Whitney ones. I'm still missing the jawstring. I've tried on so many pants from Gymshark. I don't even think the Jaggers had a jawstring and I'm a jawstring girl. I really do enjoy it. I feel like that's kind of lazy but I love the color of these actually. I think that other green sports bra would look really good with this. I'm gonna put it on just to see but I like this. The GS original I love. The Whitney I love. The shorts I love. I like this. I like the color. I like the fit. I like the feel. I think I do like these better than the Whitney ones like I said previously. The bra is still the same like the blue one. One of the blue ones. I can't remember which one at this point but I like this. Let me put on the other bra so I can see if it really goes together. Okay so this is the green horse bra with the pants. I want to see if it, it looks good. I think it does. I mean granted this is a little bit darker than that one but I put on a black shirt with this like a black long tank and I think it would be no problem because I really do like these pants and I like this sports bra. I think I actually might keep these pants over the Whitney one. I think so because I do like this sports bra. I'm gonna have to look at it again and maybe walk around the house with it a little bit more to see if I truly truly like it. But Gymshark is that girl. I did get, I want to say I lied about it but I did get some socks. I got these socks in a large. It says a large is a US 10 to 13. A medium was a 7 to a 9. I didn't know if that meant men's or women. I should have actually kind of like, I don't know, done a bit more research because I'm a men's 8 and a half. So if this is a men's 13, I feel like that would be a little big. These socks right now feel heavenly. Oh, oh, Holt favorite right here. I hate socks when they're tight here. This is the perfect slouch. These socks feel like butter. These socks 
real deal feel like butter and i'm a i'm a nine and a half in women's eight and a half in men's true size not that size and a half let me tell you about these socks so these socks are 12 dollars. are they pricey for one pair of socks yes do these feel like the best socks i've ever worn also yes take that with a grain of salt oh my gosh i should have got these socks in white i don't know why i got this pink color knowing damn well i don't really have any clothes this pink color i should have got these i, I should have got these in white i should have got these in violet I don't know what possessed me to get these socks in this pink color that I don't have any work oh well, I have a hair shirt I have a shirt that's got this color but even like my regular clothes I'm not the this all white I'm so sorry for that ramble because I'm mad at how good these socks feel and I got it in this stupid color one thing if you took away anything from this haul Jim shark socks and their sports bras our top tier top tier top top tier because i'm someone who hates wearing socks i would wear these socks inside the house yes i'm gonna get loud right now and i'm getting hyped because gymshark for bras and socks is game changer everything else i feel like maybe get it on sale when you look at the price point and i think i and i guess this is where i feel with this is where i'm at with gymshark when you look at the price point for some of these items I do think they're a tad bit expensive on the expensive side and some of the clothes did feel like Amazon like it wasn't anything spectacular the Whitney line I would do if you want comment in the bottom I could do a whole separate haul on just all her stuff because outside of Gymshark I think she has the best things that I tried on from Gymshark her collection as a whole and then the GS original I do like some of the like the the training joggers I didn't care for the shirts I didn't care for any of the shirts the sweatshirt that I got I really wanted to love that so badly I didn't care about the material inside like if the if that why is it not the material of the socks I mean it's loud you want to be comfortable and lounge right and some of the shorts I didn't like because I didn't feel like they were more thick girl big girl friendly but going back to the socks and in the, in the bras and the Whitney lines yes overall overarching I'm gonna rank Gymshark when we're doing athletic wear if we're comparing athletic wear from Savage X, Adidas, Nike, Under Armour. I'm giving Gymshark from everything that I've tried on, I'm giving them a nine. I'm giving them a nine and I might even give them a 9.5. If we're strictly talking about Whitney in the accessory parts, I would give them a 9.5. I'm always gonna compare things to Nike and Nike's controversy, you know, hit or miss, but you can't, you cannot lie to technology behind it. You look at your favorite athletes, what are they wearing? Thank you so much for watching the video let me know which pieces you enjoyed the most in the comments down below i've got some videos on the screen that i think that you'll enjoy until next time